Hi everyone, SK Senior, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to bring vehicles from the creator into story mode to use them, store them, mod them, and even to use them in director mode. And I know this works on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, I'm not sure about old gen consoles though, so you may have to test that out and let me know. And I'm going to be doing this glitch with Franklin, um, he has one space left in that garage there. Um, I've got three other vehicles that I bought over from the creator, which I'll show you once I bring over the next one. But whatever character you want to do this on, what you need to do first, or what I recommend, is you make a quick save. And just do that now. So that when you spawn back to story mode, you actually spawn back as the character you want. So now I'm going to go over to the creator. I'm going to go into that. And I've actually streamlined this glitch because you don't need to create a race every single time you do this, like some people think you do. Um, you can load in a previously created race, which is what I'm going to do here. Uh, load creation saved, uh, just the top one there. And um, I'll actually show you the settings, what you need to set it up as. There's only really one um, setting that you need to make sure that you've got set right to make sure that the glitch does work and kind of race details and it's this one here the race type needs to be set to gta that's important um everything else you can just do whatever you want to do with but that one you have to have on gta and you need to test the race which is what we're going to do now just going to test it and you can test it in any vehicle that you want to test it in and it doesn't have to be the vehicle that you want to take over to story mode it can be any vehicle you want and at the beginning of this race you might have noticed the top right hand corner the money that it showed there was actually my online characters money not the story mode characters money even though I'm in the creatorism story mode character so all we do is, is just finish this uh, quick race okay and now we're good to go with the next part of the glitch which is really easy to do and all we're going to do now is select what car we want to take into customs and what i'm going to do i'm actually going to choose the reaper um i have tried the 811 and the x80 uh, but they despawn in story mode um, if you can get those to stick then please let me know how you've done it because this method it you actually see them in story mode and I'll show some footage at the end of the video but they won't actually stay so you can use them right so I'm just going to choose the Reaper and spawn on the ground in the Reaper okay now we just drive into customs and because we've tested the race it's like we're online or in story mode you can actually interact with customs okay if I press up or down on the d-pad now it all glitches out on the left hand side and if you do that by accident which you will do because i do it all the time is just back out to this menu here where it says exit and press circle again and now you use the left analog to move up and down the list and all i'm going to do is i'm just going to um give it a quick paint job um probably stick a spoiler on it just to make it look unique enough so you can see that it's uh legit uh maybe put a different set of wheels on it uh, oh, whatever they'll do right okay now what we do is we just back out of Ellis Customs and after we've driven out of here what we do now is make sure we can drive forward now you just press down on the d-pad twice the first time you press it you'll get this menu come up it looks glitched out like we're still in customs but you press down on the d-pad again and it takes you back into the race creator menu so all we do is we go to exit and you sure yes and we haven't lost the vehicle we have got the vehicle it will be in story mode believe it or not and now press up on the d-pad now to go to the bottom option now we exit back to story mode and we'll spawn back in as franklin and um yeah the first time i saw this glitch i thought nah, it's, that's not going to work but it legit does and um, yeah I'll, I wouldn't upload a fake video and I certainly wouldn't put my name to something that didn't work so as soon as we spawn in then we need to make our way over to 
certain location on the map. In typical, we spawn down at the beach. So we just need to get to a main road or something so we can order a taxi. That's just gonna be the quickest and the easiest way to get there. You can um, drive there if you want, but I suggest just taking a taxi because it's just quicker and easier. It doesn't matter whether you drive or take a taxi. So we'll just order that in now. Yeah, yep. And I'll show you where we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the impound yard. And believe it or not, our Reaper will be there waiting for us. I don't know how this glitch works or why it does, it just does. So now we've just got to wait for that taxi. And uh, you can use this for heist vehicles, um, the finance and felony vehicles. Um, it even works on the Electro, uh, sorry, the Electro. Um, I tried that earlier and that works and the Insurgent does as well. Uh, I actually put a bit of footage in the bottom right hand corner now so you can see like the Insurgent. Oh, there's a taxi. Okay, dump in here and then we'll go to the waypoint. Okay, like I say, it doesn't matter if you drive or take a taxi, it's still gonna work. If it hasn't worked, it just means that that vehicle can't be brought over to story mode. Also, if you drive a vehicle into customs in the creator like I did, and you just drive in, and nothing happens then it means that you can't bring it to story mode as well so things like the clown van won't work so we just press right on the d-pad now and there's the reaper are you sure yes and there it is there's our reaper in story mode that's exactly the one that i did in the creator so now what i'm going to do is drive it over to Franklin's garage so you can see me driving it in there and I'll show the other three cars as well and I'd make the most of this because the next update is going to be the creator update I'm sure of it and no I'm Rockstar they're just going to rate the creator just fuck it up in some way but if nothing else they're probably going to patch this so I'd definitely do it sooner rather than later because at least if you bring the vehicles over into story mode now even if they patch it at least you've still got them and you can still use them so let's get back to Franklin's garage drive it in and crash everything on the way right okay and right on the d-pad and drive in and yep yeah, that's it so yeah you can see there i've got the reaper stored in here now also got the fmj and i've got the armored karuma and that's fully modded and pimped out turbo and everything on it everything like that and also we've got this uh was it the armored cognacetti um the ceo car there's yeah it's a piece of shit, but yeah but it's basically just to show you that you can do it all right once we've done that then we'll just go outside and the first thing you want to do is obviously make another quick save and then it locks in that last vehicle that you got and yeah that's it now you can use them in story mode you can take them to customs you can mod them you can take them to director mode which is what i'm going to show you now i'm going to go into that just to prove that you can spawn them in in director mode and once we get here just uh, choose a character uh, story characters no trevor okay with his new top on it's kind of a hint to my next video on uh cars all right as soon as we spawn in eventually here we go right let's spawn the vehicles in and you just go to here and yeah i'm not going to show you that because i'm going to be showing that in the next video that's actually a modded version of that and modded in the sense that it's a legit vehicle that i've got on the playstation 4 that i got in the playstation 4 version and i modded it in ls customs but i'll show you that in the next video and here we go let's get the cognacetti in there it is you can see it there 
and also the armored Karuma. And there's that. And the FMJ and the Reaper. So yeah, that's it. It really is as simple as that. So now you can use this in director mode, recording footage, do your own movies. And um, yeah, so like I say, I'm working on another video at the same time and um, that should be up in the next couple of days. And uh, But for now, take care everyone, all the best, and I'll see you all again soon.